welcome back to my channel if this is the first time you are tuning in you're highly welcome and if you are a returning viewer know that you are highly appreciated okay we are asked to solve for the value of x and y in this equation okay this is what we're going to do first we are going to um recall the law of indices that states that x raised to the power of a minus b okay is the same thing as x raised to the power of a divided by x raised to the power of b all right so let's relate this to this and if we do that that means that we can rewrite this as 8 to the power of x divided by 8 to the power of 8 minus 8 to the power of y divided by 8 to the power of 8 is equal to 4095. Okay, now we can rewrite this side of the equation as 8 to the power of x minus 8 to the power of y divided by 8 to the power of 8. Yes, since they have the same denominator, we can actually bring that denominator. We, shall, we can actually combine them and call them 1, all right? Is equal to 4095. All right. Now, at this point, let's cross multiply. So, we are going to have 8 to the power of x minus 8 to the power of y times 1. We give us 8 to the power of x minus 8 to the power of y, right? Is equal to then this is going to be 8 to the power of 8 times 4095. That is for this side of the equation. When we look at this, if we say that 8 to the power of x minus 8 to the power of y is going to give us a positive number, okay, that is a number greater than 0, then logically we can say that x is greater than y, right? Yes. It means that x is greater than y. That means we can say x is equal to something plus y, right? A plus y. And this is a very important equation. So let's call it equation 1, all right? Okay. That means we can substitute this for x here. That means we can write this as 8 to the power of a plus y minus 8 to the power of y is equal to 8 to the power of 8 times 4095. Okay. Now, um, recall um, the law of indices that states that a to the power of x plus y, okay, is same thing as a to the power of x times a to the power of y. If this is the first time you're coming across this channel, please subscribe, yes, and turn on your notification bell so that you don't miss my next episode because I'm sure if you have actually listened to this stage, that means you enjoy what you are seeing. So click on that notification bell and don't forget to subscribe, okay? Now, let's continue. If we should relate this to this, that means we can write 8 to the power of A times 8 to the power of Y minus 8 to the power of Y is equal to 8 to the power of 8 times 4095. All right. We have 8 to the power of Y, 8 to the power of Y. So let's factorize that. Then if we do that, we have 8 to the power of y bracket. 8 to the power of a minus 1 is equal to 8 to the power of 8 times 4095. All right. Now, this is even and this is even. This is odd and this is odd. So let's equate even to even and odd to odd, all right? All right, now let's do that. 
we can now say 8 to the power of y is equal to 8 to the power of 8. Then we can see, obviously, by comparison, once the bases are equal, then the powers are equal. That means our y is equal to 8. We have gotten the value of y. Let's go ahead and get the value of x. But don't forget to stick around because I'm going to prove the solution we got. Let's actually see if we got the right solution. Okay? So we are going to equate odd to odd. And that means we have that 8 to the power of a minus 1 is equal to 4095. 4, now, 8 to the power of a is equal to, let's transfer this to the other side. And when we do that, we are going to add it. This is minus 1. If you cross it over, it becomes plus 1. So it's going to be 4095 plus 1. Okay? Now, we have 8 to the power of a is equal to 4096. All right. So what we have here is 8 to the power of a equals 4096. Now, permit me to clean this side. Let's leave the equation. We are still going to use it to prove our solution. So let me just clean this. 8 to the power of a equals 4096 okay now let's continue now we can write that x to the power of a is equal to 8 to the power of 4 yes because uh, 64 times 64 which is same thing as 8 to the power of 4 is 1496 now how does i get that 64 times 64, that is 64 squared. I have a video in this channel where you can square any number from 1 to 1,000 within 5 seconds. So this is how I knew that 64 squared will give me 4096. Now let me do that without a long division. This is going to be 16. This is going to be 36. Then I'm going to add 48. So this 6, this 9, this is 10 carry one. This is it. If you want to know how I got this, just check my video in this channel on how to square any number from 1 to 1,000 without your calculator. All right. Now let's proceed. So from here, we can say that A is equal to 4. But don't forget, we are not looking for A. Rather, we are looking for X. We have found our Y to be equal to 8. So we are now looking for the value of X. Now, remember, I'll recall that x equals a plus y. So, that means that our x is equal to, our a is 4, right? Plus, remember that our y is 8. So, it means that our x is 12. Now, let's prove our solution. The question says, 8 raised to the power of x minus 8, minus 8 raised to the power of y minus 8, is equal to 4095. Now, let's substitute. The value of our x is what? 12 minus 8. The value of our y is 8 minus 8. 4095. All right. So this same thing as 8 to the power of 4 minus this same thing as 8 raised to the power of 0 is equal to 4095. Now, x to the power of 4 is same thing as 64 squared, which I've already told you how to get it, is what? 4096. Minus 8 to the power of 0 is 1. And when you subtract that, according to them, the solution is this. Now, obviously, 4096 minus 1 is 4095. So the left-hand side equals the right hand side and that proves that our solution is correct thank you so much for watching please watch another video and do have a lovely day bye